Chapter 27 Club is known to be one of the most tragic sequence of deaths in history. The 27 Club became popular after the death of Kurt Cobain, who died at the same age as legendary rock stars such as Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, and Jimi Hendrix. Members of the 27 Club are mostly musicians, but actors and artists are included as well. Besides sharing the same age, members of the 27 Club share one sinister commonality. So today we're going to unveil this dark truth about the 27 Club. But first we need to introduce some of its most notable members. Starting with the first and most important member, Robert, Robert Johnson. Johnson. Robert Johnson was one of the most influential American blues musicians in history. He was renowned for his exceptional guitar playing skills and haunting vocal style. In August of 1938, just a few months after his 27th birthday, Johnson made moves on the wife of the owner of a roadhouse where he was playing, drank from an open bottle of whiskey that he was offered, and died three days later of poisoning and pneumonia. Many years later, founding member of the Rolling Stones, Brian, Brian Jones, Jones entered the 27 Club. Brian Jones was the original leader of the iconic rock band. His innovative guitar playing and eclectic musical influences were instrumental in shaping the early sound of the Rolling Stones. Despite his significant contributions to the band's success, Jones struggled with substance abuse and clashed with his bandmates, eventually leading to his departure from the group in 1969. Tragically, Jones drowned in the swimming pool on July 3rd, 1969 at the age of 27. As clear as it seems, the death of Brian Jones has become one of the biggest mysteries in rock and roll history, with many people questioning the official version of what happened. Even members of the Rolling Stones have expressed doubts. Keith Richards stated in an interview, and still the mystery of his death hasn't been solved. I don't know what happened, but there was some nasty business going on. The next member of the 27 Club is Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was a pioneering guitarist and song songwriter who rose to fame in the 1960s. Renowned for his innovative guitar playing techniques and electrifying stage presence, he became a central figure in the psychedelic rock movement. However, in the early hours of Friday, September 18th, 1970, while staying with his girlfriend in London, Jimmy took some sleeping pills and never woke up. Nobody knows for sure how many pills he swallowed, or if he knew what he was even taking. Jimmy's friend, Deering Howe, stated, Jimmy would take a handful of not even knowing what it was, Jimmy's reckless behavior led to his demise. Shortly after, Janis, Janis Joplin, Joplin tragically joined the 27 Club. Janis Joplin was a pioneering American singer-songwriter known for her powerful and soulful voice. She rose to prominence in the 1960s as the lead singer of the psychedelic rock band Big Brother and The Holding Company. But on October 4th, 1970, she got her heroin kit out and injected a vein in her left arm. After returning from grabbing a pack of cigarettes, Janice hit her head on the nightstand and was found dead the next morning. Not too long after, Jim Morrison also became a part of the 27 Club. Jim Morrison was the charismatic lead singer and lyricist of the iconic rock band The Doors, known for his captivating stage presence and poetic lyrics. His unique persona and rebellious spirit made him a symbol of the 1960s hippie movement. However, also on July 3rd, 1971, Morrison was found dead in a bathtub in in an apartment at approximately 6 a.m. in Paris, France. While Jim was known for his intense lifestyle, no one expected his sudden and unexpected death. Jean Michael Bosquea is known to be one of the only non-musicians to be a part of the 27 Club. Jean Michael Bosquea was a prominent American artist who rose to fame in the 1980s New York art scene. Known for his raw graffiti-inspired style and exploration of social and political themes, Bosquea's work often addressed issues of race, identity, and class. He often collaborated with Andy Warhol, revolutionizing art forever. But in 1988, Gene was found dead by overdosing on opioids and cocaine. In months leading up to his death, he claimed to be shooting up up to 100 bags of heroin a day, which honestly does not sound possible. Up next, probably the most notorious member of the 27 Club, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain was the lead singer, guitarist, and primary songwriter of the iconic rock band 
band Nirvana. He rose to fame in the early 1990s as a central figure in the Seattle grunge scene, known for his raw, emotional vocals and introspective lyrics. Kurt Cobain's body was discovered by an electrician on Friday, April 8, 1994 after committing suicide, thus making him a part of the 27 Club. Probably the most notorious recent member of the 27 Club, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse, Amy Winehouse was a British singer-songwriter known for her distinctive voice and soulful jazz-influenced music. She rose to fame with her album Back to Black, which featured hit songs such as Rehab and Valerie. After battling with family and relationship issues, Amy Winehouse suffered from bulimia and alcoholism, which ultimately led to the cause of her tragic death on July 23, 2011. Other members of the 27 and Club include Kristen Pfaff from Courtney Love's band Hole, Ronald McKernan, one of the founding members of the Grateful Dead, and Anton Yelkin from Star Trek. There are many other members of the 27 Club, however, I just wanted to highlight kind of the more prominent figures in the 27 Club. After researching the different members of the 27 Club, I found that there's a conspiracy that the members of the 27 Club sold their soul to the devil. I do think that this is a bit far-fetched, but theorists explain Robert Johnson, the first and original member of the 27 Club, supposedly made a pact with the devil at the crossroads in exchange for music talent. Initially, Robert Johnson was not a very good guitar player, so he apparently went to the crossroads where he met a man that made a deal with him. The mysterious man looked at his guitar, tuned it, played it, and gave the guitar back to Robert. And Robert instantly became one of the best blues guitarists of all time. His song, Crossroad Blues, supposedly indicates the encounter with the devil. To me, it sounds like Robert's guitar was always out of tune, so a man tuned it, which will make any guitar player sound instantly better. However, I will say that Kurt Cobain was also known for his satanic practices. He said he would get stoned and worship Satan. In addition, Jimi Hendrix road manager, Alan Douglas, expressed concerns about Jimmy's belief in being possessed by spirit, which he wrestled with constantly, overall contributing to his inner turmoil. Jimmy's former girlfriend, Fane Pridgen, also had similar concerns. He used to always talk about some devil. Something was in him and he didn't have any control over it. He didn't know what made him act the way he acted and what made him say the things he said and songs and different things like that that come out of him. There's also a legend that the Rolling Stones made a deal with the devil as well. Their song Sympathy for the Devil writes, As heads as tails, call me Lucifer, cause I'm in need of some restraint. Have some sympathy and some taste. Use all your well-learned politeness or I lay your soul to waste. The lyric explains their encounter with the devil, where their fate was decided in a coin toss, but the devil used a tricked coin, ultimately leading to them losing the deal and selling their souls. While there are a lot of similarities between the 27 Club and Satanism, it is just a conspiracy and nothing has been proven to be true. The true commonality between members of the 27 Club is that they're dealing with their own personal struggles with relationships, money, and fame. They this most likely led to inner turmoil, ultimately leading to substance abuse and mental health problems. Numerous mainstream artists have been rumored to selling their souls to the devil. But mainstream artists also have struggles with money, fame, and power. Everyone has their own opinion with these conspiracies, so drop in the comments and let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching, hit the like, slap the sub, and, and I'll see you at the crossroads. Just kidding. Seriously, I will not be seeing you there, truly. Till next time, folks. Peace.